What's going on guys? This is Anthony with the movieblog.com and I'm back here with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing the official review for Bird Box. Now, Bird Box is the new release from Netflix that's boasting itself as a cinematic quality film released directly to their streaming platform. Now, Bird Box has all the makings of a decent theatrical release with a strong leading woman, a seemingly substantial budget, and a provocative plot. Can you just please drive? Did you see something? You tell me. If you hear something in the water, you tell me. But under no circumstance are you allowed to take off your blindfold. Do you hear that? The creatures. Sandra Bullock leads a pretty well-rounded cast. It includes John Malkovich, uh, Sarah Paulson, Trevante Rhodes, Machine Gun Kelly, and rising star Ray Howard. Now, John Malkovich can be seen providing some really, really good scene-stealing moments. He has these moments where he just leads the room and just, ah, oh, he captures everything. It's really, really cool. Now, Ray Howery, he, he tones things down a bit uh, with his comedy, just, just a bit in his performance, but it does lighten some often bleak circumstances when he's there, because he can't, you know, he can't mute it completely. He's, he's just naturally funny i like this guy trevante rhodes and machine gun kelly are the only ones with some inconsistencies um i'll honestly tell you i didn't recognize mgk in the film which helped a lot as we didn't need that distraction but his character within the film although it wasn't terrible it was one of the weaker performances you can say the same thing about trevante i found there were moments where he really really did ex pretty well and then there were a few moments where he just was inconsistent and it took me out of the moment now this movie is going to drop kick you in the feels if you're an anxious person there's times where there's situations so tense you can't help but like squirm and worry about what's going to happen next now bird box has the distinction of joining the ranks of films with those unseen threats in thriller films um you can think of like signs the happening cloverfield or even more recently a quiet place there's a few more films like this. It's not bad company when you're executing properly. The, you gotta deliver the suspense and, and not showing the threat raises the bar that much higher. Now, I don't watch too many horror films. I, I just don't, but I like a good suspense film and Bird Box does deliver with that. I enjoyed the setting. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed everything about being on the river. It delivered. They could have set this movie anywhere in the world, but using the small town surrounded by the woods, is, it's really effective to me, and it's serene. I just think that I have a preference for post-apocalyptic films that take place in green environments. I, I don't know. You know, I like that over the desert ones. All of the foliage, it lends itself well to the concept of society crumbling as well. You get to see new growth after man has gone. The bad. Now, the pacing at the beginning of the film is just way too fast. It's just... Too quick, I, I get what they were trying to do there by establishing uh, a base for where society was before things started to go bad. I get it, I, it really doesn't spend too much time in that functioning society for me to actually feel the loss before everything goes to hell. There's a lot of concepts introduced in those moments. They're important to the story later in the film, so try your best to pay attention, but <sighs> good luck. The pacing takes a long time to fight its footing too, so it's it, it's just that I felt jilted from one concept to another. Um, that wasn't helped with the particular style of storytelling used. Bird Box actually relies on flashbacks as a storytelling tool to fill us in on the characters and the narrative. This isn't a bad method of storytelling, but it makes following the story a confounding process when you include with that all too fast introduction. And there's time jumps used throughout. I, I just didn't appreciate the setup for Bird Box based on too many ideas being introduced too quickly all at once. Bird Box is two hours and four minutes in length, and you're gonna notice every single minute pass by. 
The movie could have benefited from some fat trimming to reduce the runtime. Bird Box doesn't quite overstay its welcome, but you will want things to wrap up. In a world where we have movies like A Quiet Place and the show The Walking Dead desensitizing us to the apocalypse, things feel too familiar. This isn't a knock so much against Bird Box as it wouldn't matter if those others didn't exist, but they do and it affects my length of tolerance to these types of films because they seem too familiar. Overall though, Bird Box is an entertaining movie uh, and it helps me appreciate my Netflix subscription. I enjoy seeing some recognizable Hollywood stars and Bird Box and talent that they bring to the table. I don't mind watching for two hours once we're past the first 30 minutes into Bird Box, but I have to admit that about 90 minutes in, I paused the movie for a bathroom break and blurted out, there's still 30 minutes left? <laughs> Overall, I rate Bird Box a respectable 7 out of 10. That's the official review from the movie blog. Thanks for checking out, guys. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and give this video a like. And if you want, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's not going to bite you. I'll check you guys later. One.